Thanks very much. Good evening. My name is Keith Mullen, founder of Gamer Grub. We make delicious tasting snack food brands. We're seeking our Series A in the amount of 1.5 million for our market expansion phase. North Face K2 Schwinn are outdoor brands. The Cliff Bar was developed for the outdoor industry and has annual revenues of approximately 235 million. NFL Chargers Nike are sports brands. Gatorade was developed for the sporting industry with annual revenues of approximately seven billion. Xbox, PlayStation, Nintendo are gaming brands. I developed Gamer Grub for the $12 billion gaming industry. 72% of US households currently play computer games and the gaming community already seeks functional products such as energy drinks to support their gaming experience. The existing snack products on the market do not meet the needs of the gaming consumer and are not designed for multitasking. Gamer Grub was designed from the ground up for the computer and technology industry and has four delicious flavors currently. We have pizza, peanut butter and jelly, barbecue and s'mores. And it has vitamins and neurotransmitters which support fast thinking and is provided in packaging so you don't get grease in your fingers and crumbs in your keyboard. Gamer Grub is established a beachhead in the marketplace, and we're currently sold in over 3,000 locations, including Best Buy, Fry's Electronics, and Toys R Us. We're currently expanding from 84 stores to 830 Best Buy stores just this month. Gamer Grub is made by a contract manufacturer in Los Angeles. They make over 55 tons of snack on a daily basis and other private labels for such as Walmart, Vons, and Walgreens. The vitamin premix installed in Gamer Grub is designed and manufactured by Fortitech, and there are a global corporations specializing in food fortification. Our 2011 business model, starting here on the left, direct to M&P, where we're shipping directly to a mom and pop store. In the middle, direct to chain, where an account such as Toys R Us will come to our factory and pick up the product, Gamer Grub, and direct to a distributor, over one to the right, where we're shipping to Vistar, uh, Cormark, or Liberty Distribution, who then ship to their individual account sales accounts. And on, on the far right, to a broker relationship where the broker has initiated the relationship with the retailer and then selling through the process. Our suggested retail price is $2.99 per unit and we've increased our gross profitability in the first two quarters of this year to 41.8%. Functional snacks and beverages, here we have two examples. The Power Bar was originally designed for the bicycling industry. We have the Gatorade, which was originally designed for the Florida Gators. Both these products were able to breach their original design intent and grow into consumer general products. This industry category is expected to grow to 43 billion by year 2013, which would be a 40% growth since 2008. Comparable snacks. This is a chart from GamerChow.com, which is a site that rates the 100 top snack categories or snack products in the gaming community. They rate snacks on how greasy they are, how if you need them with one hand, how quick they are, how healthy they are, and how hard they are. Let's go ahead and ask the gaming community what they think of Gamer Grub. Number one, we're up above other national brands, spending millions of dollars on advertising and marketing. We're above Domino's Pizza, Doritos, Panda Express, and other national brands. The video game sales industry arguably began in the mid-70s with the advent of Pong. Here we've got a nice industry growth curve from 1996 forward, topping out at 12 billion. If you notice, during a recession, people are at home playing games. <laughs> Just to put the industry in perspective, last year when Avatar launched, during its opening three-day weekend, it made 212 million. In comparison, when Call of Duty launched just this month, it made 400 million just in the first 24 hours, making it the largest entertainment launch property in humanity. By year 2020, there will be 1.5 billion gamers worldwide. Most of this growth will be occurring in the Pacific Rim and Asian companies, countries and the Middle East as fiber optic networks and electrical infrastructures get installed to support a robust gaming community. Gamer Grub is currently sold in the United States, Canada, Finland, Sweden and United Kingdom. And we've had significant interest from Central America, Turkey, Korea, and Australia. 72% of US households play computer games. The average game player is 37 year old, 37 years old. Our core demographic for Gamer Grub is the 18 to 25 year old male, of which there are 22 million of them in the United States. They're spending approximately 20 hours per week gaming and $7.22 per week gaming. 
For our, part of our marketing program, we've partnered with Microsoft, Best Buy, and Coca-Cola for the release of Gears of War 3, which occurred in Times Square. We've been on ABC News, NBC News, and Wired Magazine. Again, we want to be the Gatorade of the computer industry. We also sponsor the gaming community at the team, league, and individual level. Here, we are sponsoring the Midnight Gaming Championships, which is an 18-city gaming league, and other partners include Southwest Airlines, McDonald's, Coca-Cola, and AT&T. Executive advisors to Gamer Grub, who I work with on a consistent basis and are in the audience tonight. Chris Wadden, an ex-COO from Nabisco. He's launched over 300 snack brands and launched the Oreo brand into China under a joint venture. Tyson Salonek was a brand manager at Red Bull for 10 years. He helped design and deploy the industry category we now know as energy drinks, first market mover. Michael Cazazzo, national sales director at Kettle Potato Chips. He helps design, deploy national sales teams and brokership networks. Myself, Keith Mullen, I've been doing product development for 12 years. My products have been sold in Walmart, Toys R Us, PetSmart, and Sears, among others. And the products that I've invented and developed have sold over 900,000 units. Sales of Gamer Grab are approaching 400, 460,000. In 2009 and 10, shown here in the blue, we were in startup phases and shipping two flavors, and now with all four flavors shipping in 2010 and 11. For our financial highlights, with our Series A, we're looking to get into 5,000 stores. We want to increase our sell-through rate to 4.5 units per week per store, which would render a gross revenue of 1.9 million. We've already demonstrated we can achieve our 42% gross margin, and by month 60, we want to get into 115,000 stores, increase our sell-through rate to 6.3 units per week per store, rendering a gross revenue of 48 million. We want to increase our gross margin to 49%, giving us an EBITDA of 9.8 million. We like to exit to a large food corporation, such as Kellogg's, Blue Diamond, or ConAgra in year 2015. For here's a master schedule from year 2009 to year 2015. The red line is today's date. Upon top are activities that we've completed, research and development done. We launched our phase one and we're currently in our phase two and we've breached our 3,000 store milestone, approaching 100,000 stores. We wanna continue our international brand development, arguably which we're ahead of, and then start a new R&D process to launch a new set of sister brands in phase three. Financial milestones, we've already spent 800,000 to get to our current market state. We're raising an additional seed round of 100,000 in our series A of 1.5. We like to install a Series B fund in the latter part of year 2013 with an exit in year 2015. With our Series A, we want to take care of existing back orders, take care of new inventory, marketing, and infrastructure. We want to build marketing solutions like this prototype here. We can create jobs. We need a sales team and we need a national West Coast and East Coast director. We need a supply chain management team and inventory control team. Jobs we need. These accounts, Walmart, we've already had positive response. We've already met with FedEx Kinko's. We've had preliminary board approval from 7-Eleven's East Coast Division, and we're in our third meeting with Costco. We can close these accounts. A couple months ago, on their own efforts, we had a consumer that asked for a copy of our logo. They took that logo and got a permanent tattoo of our logo on their hand. <laughs> from the beginning, NFL, Chargers, Nike, these companies spend millions of dollars to get their consumer group to take their brand in to define who they are. And we've done that for a micron of the cost. Passionate consumers defend the brand will drive sales. Gamer Grub, the train is leaving. We will be closing our rounds and you need to take action and contact me before we're oversubscribed. Thank you.